Mr. Beast, the guy who throws money at people for a living. Because we want money too, we decided to create a game for him. And we actually DM'd him to see if he would try out our finished game. But that will be revealed at the end. And this is actually our first 3D game, so don't flame us. We first created the Unity project and stole, I mean borrowed, a human character model. We will call him Frank. Our idea was making a game where you play as Mr. Beast and you have to throw money, phones and mansions. Okay, maybe not mansions. At all the people as fast as possible. Frank will be the richest guy alive. Just wait. Because Frank is very homeless, we gave him a nice town he can live in that we definitely didn't steal from somewhere again. <laughs> we tested out some of the animations Frank can do and he can get sturdy now. We wrote the code for the first person physics and tested them out. While configuring Frank, we did run into some problems. But that was quickly fixed. Because we didn't like the city Frank lived in, we deleted it. He is sadly homeless again. But we found a new place for him that fits him much better. Look at that, it even has a playground. We now have to add the actual mechanic of the game, throwing stuff. We first had to implement the throwing physics and try them out. While doing that, we also added the money. After that, we made it so that every time a projectile hits an NPC, he will bounce away. Because it's funny, I guess. We did get some bugs, but it's all fixed now. We added a crosshair, some problems, some more problems. But we now have the basics of the game. Frank can now buy all the stuff he wants with his money. Because we want Frank and his friends to walk around the city, we added waypoints where they will walk to. Um. Alright, now it should work. Let's just ignore that for now. It's time to add more NPCs. This is Carlos, Frank's brother. Yes, we added some people who look exactly like Frank. Because we're lazy. Just throwing money at people is pretty boring, so we created a shop where you will be able to buy some different things. We added the famous Beast Burger first, and Frank seems to like them a lot. You can buy the Beast Burger once you get 100 points, and you get them by just throwing stuff at people. We were bored, so we also tweaked the cooldowns that we actually felt rich for once. I mean, look at that stack. We wanted the game to look a bit more alive, so we tried adding some particles, but let's put it that way. This is the name of the video file. Moving on, we added new items to the shop. These gold coins are going to be the starting thing to actually throw. And phones, which Mr. B seems to give away like it's bread. Like, come on, man, we need some phones too. We obviously had to change the shop a bit, and this is going to be the new order in which you can buy the items. We didn't want the city to just stop, so we made it a bit larger. We added health to the enemies so we can actually kill them with the amount of stuff we are giving them. And we added a health bar for the NPCs as well. The health bar didn't rotate with the NPCs, so we tried changing it, but it resulted into this chaos. But we eventually got it right, thank god. We decided the game to be a bit like a speedrun, so we added a timer and what is winning without some cool end screen, so we added that as well. At the beginning, you would win once you bought the Beast Burger, but that didn't really make any sense, so we changed it to once you kill every single NPC in the game. We're not gonna lie, the game was a bit slow and stale, so we decreased the damage and increased the knockback, so it's a bit more fun. We also took out all of our artistic skills and made new particles. Come on, they aren't that bad. But here it is, the finished game. You can now play as Mr. Beast and Frank can now live a happy life. Oh, and Mr. Beast never answered. No, it's totally fine. We're fine, we're fine. And this is my high score, by the way. We posted the game on itch.io, so you can try it out as well. If you want to see how we made a game based on random ideas from strangers, though, you can click right here and subscribe.